Oh, hey, my name is Kiyo Yamada. Oh, hey, it's Lauren Spencer. Whoa! Hey, guys, it's Sagar Patan. We are Channel 1510 News. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Channel 1510 News. My name is Sagar Batani. And my name is Lauren Spencer. Have you ever wondered why there are specific distinctions amongst organisms? The underlying cause behind this is genetic diversity. Genetic diversity is defined as the total number of characteristics within a population. Today's news looks into how genetic diversity plays a role in the survival of a bee colony. The queen plays a huge role in the total amount of genetic diversity within a colony. The more she mates, the greater the genetic diversity. So polyandry is a source of genetic diversity in a beehive and has a significant impact on the colony's productivity, survival, and resistance from diseases. That's very interesting. Now let's turn to Violet with more information on this subject. Thanks, Sagar and Lauren. Harry Laidlaw proves that the polyandry in honeybees is a major cause of intracolony genetic diversity in his study. He tests the genetic variation by measuring the genetic relationship among the honeybees. He makes a model of polyandry for the honeybees in his lab. Six types of drones that are differentiated by different genetic combinations are mated with one queen, which is mutated. Five trials are taken in this study. The portions of phenotypes among their offsprings are counted statistically. As their data shows, the p-value is larger than 0.05, which means there is a significant difference in the data. Therefore, there is a low genetic relationship. In other words, there is a genetic variation among the offsprings by different phenotypically distinct male. And let's go to Kyo for some example. Thanks, Violet. David R. Tarpey explains that the queen mates with more drones, they are more diverse and are more likely to survive. For example, one of his studies explained that the genetic diversity increases by 86% when the queen mates with seven drones opposed to mating with one drone. Also, as the queen mates with more than seven drones, the colony is 2.86 times more likely to survive than the queens who mate with less than seven drones. Tarpey's study shows the direct correlation between the number of mates and the survival rate of a colony. Now to Carolina to explain how colonies survive when pressured by disease. Thanks, Kia. Well, I wanted to relate more to the topic and decided to play a little dress up to look somewhat similar to a bee. Well, in coming back to Kia's topic, another finding by Tarpey was when he tested to see the survival of a colony exposed to Penbacillus larvae, and he found out that the colony that had the queen mated with only one male bee had a lower survival rate than the colony that had the queen mated with 10 male bees, as it shows in the box and whispered plot. So the number of male bees that the queen mates affects their survival, especially when exposed to disease. Now back to Sagar and Lauren at the studio. Wow, genetic diversity has such a significant impact on genetics. Yeah, it's so interesting how the genes of one bee can impact the life of a colony. It truly is. Thanks for joining us on Channel 1510 News. I'm Sagar Batani. And I'm Lauren Spencer. You stay, stay classy, classy Atlanta. Atlanta.